Hello everybody, welcome to Hook, Line and Sinker today, Nick. Massive fish. Yes, that's a promise we make and break often on this program, but today <laughs> we mean it. Out there, massive Atlantic salmon and trout. Roll the opener, let's get a big, big fish. We've hooked a good fish. This is an exploding everybody let's get down to it this is John Orchard our tackle guru and uh, supplier of very nice matching shirts John welcome to the show thanks Nick and welcome to Red Banks Fish and Game now Red Banks Fish and Game that's where we are this morning tell us about Red Banks Fish and Game well Red Banks Fish and Game is a new fishery it's uh, stocked with brown trout it's stocked with triploid rainbows and it's stocked with some very serious Atlantic salmon now let's talk about these Atlantic salmon John I heard uh, a rumour or something like that that these are big, big fish. Nick, these are big fish. We're talking fish in the range of 16 to 26 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Real heart starters. <laughs> All right, folks, so in this lake, basically, this is uh, man-made stocked... Uh... It is. It's only a new water. It uh, was built about two years ago yep. and stocked 12 months ago. Yep. And the fish have done very well in it. And we're the only people here... And this looks very good. So, John, without any further ado, shall we? I think we ought to go and catch one, Nick, I don't that you? That sounds like a good idea. Real poking, Hardy. Okay, Nick. Here's one of the fish that we were talking about. You can just see the top of his tail poking out of the water. We've literally just walked down this bank, and that, we you're have. telling me, mate, is, a, is an Atlantic salmon. That's an Atlantic. We can't get a real good look at him, but the, by the size of the tail, we've got a serious fish. Yep. Now, he's a, they're fairly long fish, so from where the tip of the tail is, you're going to want to drop your fly about three feet out in front of him okay. and just tweak it very slowly. All right, mate, now we know fly fishing isn't my strong suit, so... You're on it. Oh. oh, you've missed him. That's, that was only a normal rainbow, Nick. Pick it up and go another two feet further with your fly. Two feet further out? Yep. Pick it up again? Yep, pick it up. You want to come round to your right a little bit. How's that? That's good. Just tweak it slowly. And you watch his tail. If he sees it, he'll start to move forward. Another, fish. Another rainbow. This is unbelievable. Right, pick up and go again and just drop it a little bit closer to him. No. Pick again. Beautiful cast. Now just tweak it slowly and watch his tail. Pick up another two feet further. Oh, I'm getting all... You've got fish fever now. Oh, That's yeah. right on his head. It's probably halfway along his body. <laughs> Talk about fish fever, mate. God, this is unbelievable. <laughs> You'll have fish fever. I'm really nuts. Him. Now, that's a good cast. You'll see that. He's got us that. Come on. I'm out. I can't. Oh, you're on. <laughs> I'd say you've got a. Well, it's not the big one, <laughs> but it's a fish, Nick. <laughs> oh, it's a good That's rainbow. A nice rainbow. <laughs> How about that? How about that, mate? We were uh, we were doing all we could to catch that uh, big, big Atlantic salmon, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get a cast close enough to him. But in this place. There Anything's are, possible. <laughs> there are consolation <laughs> prizes everywhere. And, uh, 
that, this isn't a bad consolation. Is that is a big Obviously a rainbow trout. A nice rainbow, Nick. Bring him to you, Johnny. Or maybe on it. He didn't like the look of you, Johnny. Yes. I could take that personally, Nick. <laughs> Now, I don't know what our big Atlantic salmon's doing while all this is happening. Where was the salmon, Nick? Well, he was, he was about where John was, Andrew, to be honest. He was just sitting there. He was just sitting there. How big was he? Well, he was two foot long. There you go, Nick. Now Look that's... at that. Oh, oh, you put him down. He's uh, still got a bit of life in him there, yeah. Nick. He's getting dirty, John. Is. We're better getting back, but there he is. That's Look at not that. a bad consolation. Look at that. Nick. That's, I mean, anywhere, <laughs> if you caught that, you'd be pretty happy, wouldn't you? And I'm pretty happy. And that's, that's what's a... available. Well, um, he's small compared to what you were trying to catch, Nick, but. Oh! <sighs> he's slippery, too. Well, Obviously, uh, catch and release waterway, John. Catch and release waterway, Nick. Get a bit of oxygen going back in there. Now, you go and tell your big mate to get with the program. I don't know, I just saw a tail. <laughs> and yes, yes, Nick, this is the massive boy. Really? Yes. Oh no. Oh. Now, I right. don't think he knows he's hooked. No. I do not fish. think he knows he's hooked. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am shaking. Now, fish fever, apparently. Is what you get, Johnny? Fish fever? Oh! <laughs> Turn it up. Did you see that? Oh! Now. <laughs> oh! I don't quite know what to say. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. The take, I actually saw him turn and he came and took it like a trout, like yeah. polaroiding a trout. He's a, uh, here we go, Mike. <laughs> they do, um, as John was saying, they do look like massive big brown trout, really, don't they? They do. They do. Pretty much what they are. Now, you've got him to here, Hardy. Well, I'm surprised that it's been this easy, to be honest, Nick. Strong, but he's just. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I don't think he's really near ready to be landed. No. But he's just doing the right thing by us. He hasn't run a long way away. Still can't get that header. You got the net? Uh, no nets here, Nick. No nets. Six pound tippet and twenty pound fish. <laughs> Stacked in your favour, isn't it, Nick? Now, I must admit I was a bit, uh, not sceptical, but, you know, I thought coming to a pay-to-fish fishery, yeah, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be easy to catch fish. It'll be like a fish farm. But it's nothing like that at all, is it? No. I mean, those fish are not that easy to get on. No, there's a lot of fish in here, but you know, like they say, the uh, you've got to catch them. And this is a—I mean, this is a trophy fish. Trophy fish. No doubt about that. Dear, oh, mate, look at the size of that. 
I think I'm in shock. That's why I'm not appearing excited. I am excited. Very excited. Grab him, grab him, grab him. I'm going to grab him. Get in there. I will get in there. <laughs> you all right? No. <laughs> 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 You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, well done. I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> oh. Well, there oh, you go. <laughs> man. Oh, you're a good fish. You're a good fish. What does it weigh? Oh, I don't know. 26 pounds? No, not quite. No. But, but there uh, you go, folks. There's more than 10 pounds, I'll tell you now. There is an Atlantic <laughs> salmon. God, it's a big fish. Isn't it? Red Bank's fishing game is located about 20 minutes out of Sorrel. It's a pay to fish fishery, Andrew. There are three lakes stocked with those massive Atlantic salmon, not to mention about a million very healthy rainbow trout. Yes, and if you fancy a few hours of red hot action, phone Lindsay White on 62575162 or Ian Cooknick on 62575113. You certainly won't. Welcome back to the show. We're in St Helens where there's a brisk southerly sweeping the place, but we're here for a more northern species, Nick. Indeed we are, Andrew. We're chasing Taylor today, a fish that's probably not on the top of every Tasmanian angler's list, but it is a fish nevertheless that is available here in Tasmania and a pretty good fish too, Andrew. Absolutely. They fight, they jump and they eat pretty well. Our chariot awaits. Let us fish. Ahoy! Ahoy, Skipper. Morning, gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Morning, Pratty. Oh. So this is George's Bay and we have begun our fishing extravaganza. Today we're in the capable hands of Mr Chris Pratt from Blue Water Sports Fishing Charters. Brady, welcome to Hook, Line & Sinker. Thanks, Nick. A pleasure. Now, uh, mate, today we're looking for uh, perhaps a tailor, a salmon, a few inshore fighting species that we like so much. What's the plan? That's it. Yeah, spent a few around here in the last few weeks. Some nice tartar and some nice salmon. Up to about nearly three kilo. A couple have been caught recently. A little bit of trolling and see what we can pick up. Now, yes, I heard a story about a bike. 11 pound tailor in the bay here the other day. So if you can do that, if we can beat that, we'll be doing well. I haven't quite seen them that big, but let's hope so. <laughs> OK, 11 pound tailor coming up, guaranteed, no questions asked. Well, this man's over the side. <laughs> well, while Pratty and Nick are up there doing their job with the fish finder, I'm down the back here putting out a spread of lures. Now, we've run a couple of your old traditional slice type lures, you know the ones I'm talking about, the metal slugs which run just under the surface. They're always popular, they're always productive. Now, to get down a bit though, we're gonna run these deeper diving lures. These are big salmon and tailor, 11 pounds I'm told, so don't be scared to put a bigger lure out. And that's because there's no telltale signs at the moment of where the fish are. We're trying to search them out. Brady's gonna troll around some good looking water. We're gonna have the lures out. We're hopefully gonna find the school of fish and that way we can muck around with them with some different techniques such as bait fishing and spinning and jigging, that sort of stuff. So we've just got to try and find the school. Nick? Um, Andrew? Nick? Yeah? Uh, What's happening, Nick? Well, it's hard to say, but I think we might have a fish on here just at the minute. Taylor? 11 pound Taylor? Ale Taylor? Oh, could be. No, um, we've got these lures a long, long way back, probably 50, 60, 70 metres back behind the boat. Trolling up and down the channel here in George's Bay. Ah! Oh. Right, you're not allowed to catch anymore, Nick. Well, there's not much you can do about that. Fish jumped miles back there. Out it came. Shook out the lure. Well, Nick, it didn't take us long, did it? No. What, uh, 
Oh, it's a beautiful salmon or tailor or something. He just had a big jump out the back there. We just saw some birds. Just saw some birds and we're about to move actually when uh, a bang. The, uh, the little overhead rod went off. What's on the end of that, Harvey? This is just your typical slice lure. I ran it a long way back though, yep. just to get it down a little bit. And uh, this, oh, this is an 11 pound tailor, but it's a good start. Salmon or tailor, do you think? Oh, I don't know, mate. I think maybe I have no idea. So, I'm going to uh, try and guess. Similar characteristics. Salmon and tailor? Uh, yeah. Ah, the net. What's going on here? They are such a good fighter, both of them. I mean, salmon or tail, it doesn't matter Get which. Them out of the way. They're such a strong, stubborn, fighting fish. And they're so much fun to catch. You never tire of this. This is perfect, particularly when the weather, like it is today, is. Uh, blowing southerly and it's a bit cold and you wouldn't want to be out uh, in the big blue in this but this is yeah this is good fishing oh, with it's the good right fun. on the right tackle i mean when that fish hit that that rod it was like <laughs> you thought it was a, a tuna or something fantastic fun and yeah we've just got this on you know a little three kilo bait caster and uh you could not wish for any more fun yes we might have some color here in a minute no no Colour. It's like a away. bluefin tuna. It is like a bluefin tuna. There's some colour. colour. Oh, oh! Beautiful salmon. big salmon. It'd be three pound or so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now those salmon are actually pretty good to eat on the barbecue, provided you have them fresh. Fresh and provided you bleed them. But that's a big fish. That's a true blackback salmon. Now, oh, that was nice effort there by the net man. I haven't done anything all morning, you stuff up the netting job. Come on. Well done. Look at that. Well done. That's a little uh, fat, isn't it? Untangled. What do you think about that, Nick? I think that is a very, very good start is a good to start. our uh, George's Bay adventure. God, he's fat, 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 fat. Yeah, not bad to eat, like you say. But uh, another interesting point: salmon, cocky salmon, blackback salmon, salmon of all descriptions are all the same fish, same species. Australian salmon. Australian salmon, cocky salmon, little one, blackback salmon, big one, basically. Yeah, informative and educational hook line and thing. Put him back? Yeah, we'll put him back. Alright. Well, as you can see, birds are working all around us. And what we've actually been doing, birds working and uh, salmon on. And we're sort of chasing the fish about here in George's Bay. We've been trolling around a bit and they're proving a little tough to get. Now look at this for a lure. Have a look at that. That is a piece of plastic pipe on a hook. And these little, uh, you know, medium to small size salmon absolutely love, Ooh. I don't like the hook coming out so much, but they love those. But uh, yes, it's an interesting lesson. The salmon are coming to the top very, very briefly, then down they go, just coming up, grabbing a bit of boat and going down. You actually see them at the back of the boat here. Andrew, back of the boat. We might get another one on here just at the moment. Taylor. What's that? It's Taylor. <laughs> Well, that is what we were oh, yeah. after. <laughs> that, that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's not an 11 pound tailor, but it is a tailor. We said that. we could do it, didn't we? We said we could. It's actually getting quite late in the day and we were thinking maybe we wouldn't. Maybe we wouldn't, but... There was a big school of them here just jumping and we were throwing lures at them. 
and they weren't taking it. And there's some clowns around here, I tell you. And Look at a that, tailor. a tailor. All point one pounds of him. Hey? Eh? Well done, Andrew. I've got a tailor. We'll throw him back. Look at that, promises made, promises kept on hook, line and sinker. Fish jumping all over the place over there. Little tailor. Small lure, see? That was smart thinking from me, if I may say so myself. Small fish and faint prey. Yes, those massive tailor and salmon are at their peak in the bay during the warmer months. Best lures are rated jigs and halco slices, but don't be scared to give the old plastic pipe a try. It's cheap and it works a treat. Yes, it does. Blue Water Sports Fishing Charters runs two boats out of the St Helens area. Ring Chris Pratt on 63444134 or visit him on the net at www.bluewatersports.com.au to book your St Helens adventure. Tough today for us, Andrew, but thankfully, unlike a politician, we have delivered. We have delivered, Nick. We earned our money today. Indeed. It was a hard day's work, but we got away with it. We got our salmon, we got our tailor. Thanks to Chris Pratt of Blue Water Sports Fishing Charters. Come and see him if you're at St Helens. But that just about wraps it up for this week, Hardy. Until next week. Good fishing. See you later. The sea cow that he's meandering about at the back of the boat here is actually Mike, our cameraman. He, uh, for the second time in hook, line and sinker history, dropped his keys in the water. So this time we've made him jump and get him. Come on, keep diving. What's happening, Nick? <laughs> it's now not so funny because he's so useless. Can't get them out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you idiot, Mike! How'd you go, Nick? Thank you, my friend. <laughs>